the butterfly valve there inside the airbox. Uh, and this mod already really works on the factory airbox because if you've got like a cone filter or anything like that, then um, that system will be gone anyways. Uh, we're just going to let these clips off. There's one there as well on the airbox. Uh, there's a third one back there, which is already off. And you kind of got to push it away from yourself to get out of these grooves. Last one's a bit jammed. Right. So with the clips off, we've now got the three grooves or so that are on the airbox out. Um, I'm going to take off these hoses. That's one. And the other one. And let's disconnect this. Uh, I need a Phillips screwdriver. You need WD-40 for that because there's rust out. Yeah, we got a lot of rust in that. There, so let's just give it a WD-40. Yeah, so pull off that intake from the mass airflow meter. You should be able to lift the airbox up now. Um, there we go. And take off that connection there. So, airbox is up. And uh, this is the butterfly valve itself. If we take out the air filter, um, what you should be able to do is you just lifted it up, pulled it up, and that's out. That's the butterfly valve. That's what you're looking to remove. I'm going to take the vacuum hose, vacuum line off it. That's the thing out of the car. Uh, and this should sort of free up a bit more kind of airflow and uh, give us a nicer intake sound um, when we're driving the car. So now we just need to plug this up. So we need a screw or something. So we just grabbed this for now and plugged it up. Pretty sure that's airtight in there. And then just fed this line back into the groove where the vacuum line used to come in the first place. Okay, so we've got air filter back on. Air box going on now. We just connected the in intake hose back onto the mass airflow meter over there. He's now connecting everything back up. Uh, he's got that gun that he used to get that screw out earlier because it was so badly rusted. Everything plugged back in, mass airflow meter there. Gonna get it in these grooves, get those hoses back on as well. Back up. Uh, there's a third clip around the side for the airbox. Yes. Let me just have a look. He's plugged in everything back, all the hoses back. Uh, air filter is nice and airtight. All the grooves, uh, all the grooves are where they should be. That's a good job. That's the butterfly valve right there. This is a Mark 7, uh, 7th generation Toyota Celica, uh, the 140, but all of them have this thing in the factory airbox, so you can take that out right there. This is Redline Revs. Make sure you comment, rate, subscribe. So we're in the Mark 7 Celica and we've just taken out the butterfly valve. This car's also got a modified exhaust. Um, I've just taken it for a, a little drive and uh, 
it felt really oh that was a nice little pop there i've just taken it for a nice little drive and uh, I, I kind of forgot how nice these cars were my brother used to have one a while back and i used to have the mark 6 Celica for a while um but because i'm i'm not used to driving your car i sort of wanted to see what you thought me me awful man there's a big difference on my car man. it was first it was in the power wasn't there like on the force on my throttle that was a nice and, bang out of the exhaust yeah, but now it's more popping as well you can hear the popping as well with the air as well it's flowing do you reckon yeah you can prop on it feels nice as well there's a say don't worry there's more of those videos coming up too yeah so uh, that's the butterfly valve delete on a uh, 2003 Toyota Celica Mark 7 uh, and this is a 140 brake horsepower engine but actually all of them like had that thing in the factory airbox so that's how you take it out this is Redline Revs I'm here with my boy YG make sure you comment rate subscribe more of all of this coming up I've heard it popping before, bro. Since uh, he did the exhaust. Yeah, box. no. Since the uh, exhaust box was done, but it wasn't popping in a row. It was popping like twice. Where, as you see, I've been going. Yeah, it's burbling a bit. It's like thirty miles an It's popping every time. <laughs> <laughs> So do you reckon that's a worthwhile mod to do? It is man. Personally, uh, I think it is. Well for one thing it's free.